Hey guys, Patient Meismer here. Um, wanted to put a series of videos together that would help you with growing your business, things that you might need help with, things that aren't working out for you, things that you have questions about. Um, I'm hoping that this series um, will help the baby brand partners as well as the experienced brand partners that really have never um, understood how to do a couple things. So the first thing that we noticed the biggest um, questions on were the cold market exposures. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to conduct cold market exposures when you're out and about, um, either in a social environment with your family, um, shopping and restaurants, and then the cold market cold calling exposures. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple different um, scenarios that maybe I have gone through and hopefully these um, examples will kind of clarify and give you guys some ideas on how to perform them. So first one is when you're out and about, say maybe you're with your family and you're shopping or you are at a restaurant or you're traveling and you might be in a taxi or an Uber or something like that. So a couple different scenarios. This is relationship marketing, so you always want to be in a relationship with these people. You don't want to come off as the crazy Nerium person and just vomit Nerium. You want to start that relationship, ask them some questions, compliment them, compliment their outfit, um, ask them what they do for a living if you don't know, or ask them how long they've been doing that for a living. Um, just get some conversations started with just a complete stranger. Um, at that point, then maybe you can introduce yourself um, and if you're in, a, for example, a restaurant and it's your server, ask them how long they've been doing it and then say, my husband and I, uh, in my scenario, this is what I would say, my husband and I started a new skincare company. Um, have you ever heard of Nerium? It is, um, it's been able to help us retire from our corporate day jobs. Um, if you do not have that experience or um, anything you just started, for example, then use one of us as an example. At the beginning, I didn't have the experience, so I always used someone else that had been in the business longer, and I'd say, oh my gosh, well, it's been amazing. Like People in my hometown have gotten $50,000 bonuses, and I kind of just used them as an, an example, but the excitement in my voice definitely radiated against that, so um, people wanted to be a part of it. Um, if you are, for example, shopping and you're shopping for makeup at the mall, Obviously, that person behind the counter at the mall loves skincare. So, kind of just bring that into, into conversation. Um, hey, I know you probably like skincare. Just want to introduce myself to you. I work for Nerium. It's a skincare line. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it is a um, new one step natural product that a lot of people um, have been very happy with. And then I always carry photos with me. So, in my purse, I have like a little photo album that I carry. And then in my phone, I have tons of result photos. So at that point, I then bust out my photos and I'm like, okay, you got to see this. This is my girlfriend. This is my whoever. And then honestly, if I don't know who they are, I act like I do. Um, and I'm like, these people are on our team. Um, and because I do feel like I know them, they're on my team. So that's just something um, when you're out and about. Also, I never really give business cards to people. Um, the capture pages that we have with the Edge subscription, that is what I use. And I honestly save it into my phone and my Safari Internet Explorer already. And so the capture pages are going to be your username dot arealbreakthrough.com. And that's going to be for opportunity. So mine is prmeismer dot arealbreakthrough dot, uh, dot com and that's for opportunity and then my second one for the product is PR Meisner, my username dot the Nerium look dot com and so those are going to be already loaded into my phone so if I do come across someone that might be interested in the product or the opportunity I instantly just say hey I don't have any business cards on me but I would love to send you some more information and then I get their information and instantly they get a video from Nerium stating um, just a video state and, and they get all my contact information so right there they're already being contacted by me and then um, I always follow up with a third-party tool so when I'm following up with those people I follow up with a sample or I follow up with um, a video or a magazine 
or if they're really interested in talking to someone about the business, a three-way call, or I invite them into a party if they're local um, so they can hear the presentation. You want to just always follow up with a third-party tool because so many times we do too much talking and we don't let the materials do the talking for us. There is a reason why we say third-party tools work. It's because we just pass it off. We're the messenger and we let the products be the message. So just remember when you are following up to always follow up with a third-party tool. Um, so another thing that you might be doing is when you're out and about and say you're with your family um, and you're at a practice for your kids or for example, I do mommy groups and I connect with um, different moms in the neighborhood and my um, kids, then my kid plays with other kids. So I'm always meeting new people that way. And for example, what I do is I always say, what do you do for a living? Or is, are you a stay-at-home mom? I always approach it with the business um, of what they do for a living. Because then what they're going to do is they're going to come back to me and say, are you a stay-at-home mom or you, what do you do for a living? And that's when I can plug near him in the conversation. What I always do with people that I'm starting to build a relationship with, not just someone that um, I'm going to see one time at the restaurant, I always uh, meet them and I go home or I add them right there on Facebook. And that Facebook is instantly going to be um, the communication between us. They're going to start seeing those posts of mine on Facebook. And they're going to come back to me the next week at that practice or at that mommy group. And they're going to say, what is this Nerium that you're doing? And so that's what, how I kind of start building that relationship with them. And then the week after that, I'm bringing a sample in. I'm like, you got to try this. Um, I always, let me, see, let me see my notes here. Um, I guess that's it on that topic. Um, you know, starting a relationship, complimenting them, starting that conversation of what they do for a living, um, and then adding them on fo uh, Facebook. So another approach is going to be the cold market, cold calling approach. I do not recommend this um, as just your go-to thing to do. Um, first attach, um, go through your warm market, because those are the people that you know that are definitely going to be easier to talk to. But if you do want to approach the cold market of the hair salons and the spas and the estheticians and all of that, what my recommendations would be, would be to first think about what's going to be in it for them. So you always want to say before you walk in, hey, I would love to speak to a manager and owner and think in your head, what would attract them to this business? What would be in it for them? Because that's what they're going to give you the time for. So obviously we have a Nearing Gives Back program and we have a three-year free program. That's going to interest a business owner. So you walk in and you say, hey, I would I wanted to talk to you. We have a, I'm with Nearing International. It's a skincare line and we have a lot of product that our, our partners get for free. And what retail spaces do is they then put it on their shelves and get them income for that. It's just a second way of making money. And so that interests the business owner instantly. And then at the same time, say, I would love to sample it to if you would be willing and interested. And so that kind of just gives them that free opportunity to try it. And also then at that time, you can also send them some information and give them a sample. Um, in, the war in the cold market, cold calling business, be used... Um, you're going to hear a lot of no's, a lot more than in the warm market. So, you know, have that already in your mindset that you are going to hear a lot more no's and a lot more business owners aren't going to be available to even talk to. Um, so keep that in mind. And then also, I wanted to just put a couple key notes out there for you guys. The more that you do cold market exposures, the easier it does get. It is not easy at the beginning, but you just have to get your kind of lingo down. And just remember to be personable be normal. Um, if Miriam does not fit into the conversation, do not force it to fit in the conversation just because you need to put an exposure in for the day. Um, that's not going to work. You want these to be quality exposures. Um, every 10 people that you talk to about this business that's in a cold market, you might get two to three that are interested in hearing more. So that's going to be seven to eight no's. So get ready for that. Um, and then out of the two to three, you might have one that wants to sample it um, or buy it. That's just the way it is. That's a numbers game. It's completely numbers game. So the more people you talk to, the more yeses you're going to get um, and the more no's you're going to get. Um, Following up is key, like I talked about earlier, and following up with third-party tools is key. After you do an exposure, always follow up with third-party. Um, and I think that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Don't seem desperate. Seem personable. Be yourself. And just let that Nerium conversation flow out. And hopefully this tips, these tips helped you. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.